Hello, we are here, Shidos Liliana Galande on my left, and I am Shidos Luis Noguera at Homo Dojo in Valencia, Spain. And today I would like to bring you very interesting uh, studies regarding citizen tradition. Today we will study uh, what is called Fukuyime. This Fuku comes from clothes and Jime comes from Shimeru. In this case is the character or the kanji uh, meaning to lock or to close, not the regular that means to choke. Then these uh, Fukuyime were techniques or me it's a method uh, that was employed uh, to restrain uh, the opponent in a very particular way. This particular way means to use, to employ the fuku, means the clothes. Uh, this is because we are not uh, concerning only what it's the wagi, that is what we will show today, but also using the rest of the of the of the clothes, uh, meaning meaning also the hakama, many meaning the zubon, the pants, etc. There are ways to restrain the enemy in this particular way. These studies were forbidden, forbidden in the sense of uh, the the masters don't like to talk about them. It's like an stimulate. It's a bad thing because those techniques were also employed in the modern ages as a way to betrayal, as a way to, uh, to also damage the season and it's uh, also forbidden by the masters don't talk because they don't like this kind because they also use as a way of uh, restraining and being stabbed, being pursed by a tanto in some kind of betrayal or traps. Then in this case I have uh, brought here uh, a tsawagi that we will employ uh, with Sido Juliana as a, as a haori, so um, like an overclothes that it could be in, in more winter or more cold situation and it's the best way, it's the best way to understand and to apply this method in order to be sewn here. That's a very interesting also to you. Maybe to explain them that nowadays they use that same technique with the normal occidental uh, globe. Yes. yes, with employing the jacket or employing the several clothes, modern clothes, and also was being also employed during the 20th century. Then it's this is why some masters don't like to talk about because these are also modern techniques that has been applied on, uh, on to restrain or to restrain in normal clothes. Then the first thing that we will see this uh, the approach that we will uh, present here today will be from backwards uh, approach. Then uh, we want, uh, of course, but this could be also uh, approaching on the side, approaching on the front. But today we will also present three techniques, also going by the uh, by the back side. Then from here, what we will do is to go here, passing my hands downward by the by the uh, by the armpit here and restraining the more up here close to the neck, more yeah. close to the neck here on the eddy on the lapel and from here this generates a very restraining techniques on the arteries and also the veins that we have uh, close to the shoulder on this side and also restraining yeah. what's the the neck from here, we will go downward in order to bring him down, having this condition and restraining also the rest of the jacket, the rest of the howdy here. I will take care with the hair and also having this control. This uh, avoids the conditions to grab with the hands because this restriction uh, uh, yes, taking care the of the level here, here is blocked. It's completely blocked. The chest is blocked and it's unavoid to, to grip a tanto, to handle a tanto or any other weapon trying to, to Besides have in this control. The pressure over the cervical. Yeah? Yes, if we are here, my hands and my wrist is restraining the shoulders. This condition the capability to, to, to do it. But after this, I could grab here and press in the neck. It's also very violent, but of course, they also could. Uh, 
grip here on the, the low side and stretching, moving and of course generating the conditions to be betrayed, to be also attacked and stopped with tanto in different circumstances and of course restraining the enemy. Thank you. Let's go up one more time. Let's go to the second technique explained today. In this case, a very, very interesting uh, technique here. It will be the following one. From here, I will grab with my left hand, passing downward the armpit, and from here, I will restrain on the sobe. I will cross here, and from here, let's go to the ground and having this control here. This makes uh, impossible to, to use uh, this, uh, this arm because it's also restrained here, it's very painful, and the other hand is crossed along what's the neck, and it's impossible to react on this circumstance. And of course, this causes uh, the opportunity to be stout, as we have explained, or also restrained, employing maybe uh, ropes, cords, in order to avoid the enemy to react. And they are, as you have seen, very fast techniques. The idea is to, uh, to tie the enemy in a very fast way and very surprising on this uh, backside approach. Normally you're also going to bring me backwards a bit. So uh, after the control, for instance, if he grabs violently and he just continues coming uh, backwards, that's, that generates a more close uh, block on my armpit and my arms and that is impossible even to try to grab any secondary weapon because my arm can reach further than my thoracic ribs here. Just has this come down anymore. Very well. The third one and for me the most interesting uh, yeah, approach yeah, here, here is the following. We will go right now, not going uh, downside the arms, but overside, going up. And from here, I will grab, I will uh, grab the the, the sleeve, uh, sorry, sorry, not the sleeves, the lapels, but moving down in order to restrain here the arms. If you can see, we have the arms in this position and from here we could restrain going down to the ground making more pressure more tight here and from here of course making pressure and going backside moving uh, stretching in order to control this is also very painful because your arms will be uh, restrained will be locked on the backside and you will be pulling, pulling, pulling and having more control on them. It's a very painful uh, way to restrain. Thank you, so you now. As I have explained, <laughs> this for me is the most interesting because uh, moreover, the pressure that the locals are bringing to the, to the walkie, to mean the armpit, uh, you are doing uh, a very uh, strong control on the hands, on the and avoiding any kind of reaction because you are restrained by your own jacket, by your own clothes. And this is a very particular study uh, of the season tradition, of our tradition. And we have the pleasure to solve for all of you a basic approach, a basic and superficial uh, studies of this method. I hope that you have liked. Uh, thank you very much for following. Keep watching our updates and see you soon. Thank you.